Welcome to the ATEX video library on our Meta Billing Manager. It is assumed that you have looked at our video on the Basics 101, which describes the layout of our screens and the general usage of all of our products. For the ATEX Meta Billing Manager, you will see that we now have QuickBooks 2010 Premier Edition open, but we do support versions going back to 2004, uh, both Pro, Pro, Premier, and the Enterprise Editions of QuickBooks. I'm now going to bring up the program by a desktop icon, and the program will start up in a second here. Uh, you will also see in our QuickBooks that we just have a few customers. Uh, we have a few items and there are no invoices in the system right now. Our program did come up on the other screen. And you will see that we have a file list box here. And these are all various readings files. I will bring up one of the readings files now to show you what they look like. We only use two columns. We need a customer identification or a meter number, some way of identifying the customer, and the new readings. The old readings are kept in QuickBooks, and I'll show you that in a second. Other columns can be there, and we can ignore them, and I'll show you that in a second also. Uh, in QuickBooks, you will see that these are custom fields that we've customized uh, via the customized column screen. We keep the previous reading in it, 1000, and the reading date, 2000 reading date, and so forth. And we also have a meter identifier, which we're not using it in this example, but it's just to show you that there are other features that are there. We would just select the file. Normally we do an edit run, just to make sure there are no obvious errors confirm that that's the file we want. And you'll see in our status line out here, that's reading the file, processing it, and it completed. There were no errors. We then can create invoices, and there were no invoices in there before, and it is again running, creating the invoices, and it'll say transactions added three. Going back to QuickBooks, we'll see that there are now invoices. And indeed, you'll see that there are now three. Here we can show you that the first invoice has a monthly charge, uh, electric for residential, this is fuel chart, for surcharge, and a flat charge. Uh, there are many, many other optional ways of setting up your billing, including multiple readings, water and sewer, for based on one reading, uh, tiers, and so forth. In QuickBooks, besides the invoice, you can see that the previous reading has now been updated and getting ready for the, the next month. Just to show you our simple mapping, we just say that the customer or, or meter ID is in column A, and that could be any column on your spreadsheet, and that the new reading is in column B. Again, those reading columns can be in anywhere on a spreadsheet and other columns are ignored. Uh, we can also see the input results right from our screen here and go right into QuickBooks. Uh, that concludes the video on our ATEX Media Billing Manager program. Thank you.